know I'm not a writer. Okay. It is the 29th of December. I'm sorry, the 30th of December. Dina, get with the program, dog. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm finding, I'm whining, and the world is dying. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you? Everybody, good morning. We are in trouble. We got plumes coming in. Media is not reporting on a 9.0 earthquake. They're calling it a low six. And if you're lucky, later in the article, they'll mention it's on a scale of seven. There's no such thing as a low six when you're talking about a scale of seven. 6.1, 6.2, 6.3s, fours and fives, all that. Very significant because the scale is normally one to 10. One being irrelevant. But on the Japanese scale, which they use both scales to confuse you. Well, last one was 7.5. Four, this one's six point out of ten. This one's six point three out of seven. One before that was the North American. The one before that was the Japanese. And then you have Japanese and Canadian American media both reporting on the different scale. One saying seven point four, the other one saying it's a five point six or whatever the equivalent in Japanese is for the same earthquake. So utter betrayal. Unbelievable deception, heartbreaking. Now we know for sure if your loved ones or your friends or your family work in the media or you do, you're a scum and you let your loved ones get away with it, you're scum. You will be now marked as scum by the generations that are waking up. You got nothing to do with me. I call you scum for six years straight, it's irrelevant. I can guarantee this whole plan is going to snap on you people. And the nuclear industry, everything in the nuclear industry is going to become the worst job on the planet to even mention out loud on a bus or a subway. They'll all be get fucking mobbed for what they got done to us. This is look back at 2011 fairly quick. Inhaling just one hot radioactive particle. Just one hot radioactive particle. Screw you over till the end of time. I'm side saddle today. <laughs> I'm really upset with these people. Consider inhaling one hot particle. Now, you're talking about plutonium. You're talking about americium, all the isotopes in the bottom of the page the curium isotopes and the thousands of other isotopes. You're talking about, hang on, you're, talk, you're talking about, that's Japan, the plume is leaving to your left of your screen. So this is March to a 14th. It's halfway across the Pacific, the 15th. It does a little circle because of wind changes. But what that does is, Makes it even worse. There's no way to avoid what happens because that's what happens to snowstorms and forest fire and automobile pollution. You see, it's still coming out of Japan. It's all over North America. It's game over. That's a terrorist attack. That's a big dirty bomb just hit your country. This is just one of the many, many models. But as this model plays out, over a couple of weeks, we'll let it finish playing. It was about halfway. You're up to the 24th of March, 2100 hours, 25th of March. This is what's happening right now to us. This is coming out. We just had a major earthquake and we have to assume the worst because they won't even report on the earthquake. The fact that it's a 6.3 out of a seven is the animosity equivalent of a nine out of a 10. The Japanese scale to the Americans is 1.4. If 
For every Japanese, it's 1.4 on our scales. Okay, now look at what you're looking at. It's based upon just a couple of days' releases. It's not based upon what I'm talking about today or what really happened then. So the entire width of the Pacific Ocean, look at Hawaii, right in the dead center. Let that sink in. Do you let your friends and your families and your loved ones go to Hawaii in the last six years? This is, this is less than a month. The entire Pacific Ocean is radiated. It's all the way to the ocean floor. It's all the way from the ocean up to about, you know, 10 miles up. And this plume is not including the reactor cores. It doesn't include the inventory in the top of the buildings. And it's game over. North America is completely covered. You see coming over hitting North America. Some of these models are not even using the very basis. Of, these are just tracers. These are not the actual isotopes I was just showing you. I'm worried about. We're in trouble. We're in real trouble. This is terrifying that all the academics, all the journalists, all the big shots in the nuclear, anti-nuclear, are fucking screwing us. Playing a game with us. Deception. Big game of deception with us. With you, your friends and your families and the other 8 million species on this planet. That's Noah's model. Noah's model. The American government's model. And so within, this is over 40 days by the time it plays out. But what you're talking about is no terrorist dirty bomb can mimic this. You would have to set fire to around 18 reactors to actually mimic the actual, what really happened. If we're lucky, that's all. But we're talking about a big coastline, 400 kilometers of Japan with multiple reactors. And this is only based upon the releases from a single reactor, all of these models. It's time, it's time to fight back. Time to stand your ground. So stuff like turmeric, stuff like turmeric is really good. Turmeric has uh, 1,600 studies. You can put it on cuts to help uh, minimize scars. You can put it on your animal cuts. You can put it in your animal food. It has incredible properties for your body. It's like water for your body. Just one of the many things you should do, can do, should do. I know it sounds futile, futile to consider what we're up against, but that's what we're up against. How about if we had a meteorite coming at us? Would we try to get out of the way? If you had a car on the highway, would you want your kid who was on the highway to get out of the way, or would you expect your kid to stay there? All right, well, you can see a car, but you can't see Fukushima. And you can't hear about it if your nuclear industry is nothing but bananas and potato chips and walking in the sunshine. Now, we have fairly solid evidence they lost Reactor 2 building. We think that was already lost and there was a collapse in there somewhere. But we think the fuel pools were long gone. But this could mean it was also or Reactor 1. It could mean it was reactor five or reactor six. It could mean it was reactor three or four that had an event. But by the sounds of it and the feel of it, it was reactor two. 
I'm going to assume at least four of them uh, shook like you can't imagine. We have evidence of that. We've been covering it for over 48 hours. It's only a little over 48 hours ago. That radiation is going to show up tonight. And it's not just going to pass through like a snowstorm and be harmless, turn to dust tomorrow morning. Like, you can buy those totes and keep your boots outside. Keep your gloves outside that you had out. Keep your umbrella outside. Even if you don't have any storage areas to put it. It's shocking that we're even talking like this. That anybody, everybody should be talking like it. That's what's even more shocking. And it's shocking that we're it. That we're the only, the only people who says, hey, wait a second. And the, and the amount that can come out. But look what happened to these people. 85,000 Beckwells of radioactivity in just four hours. Did they stop breathing after four hours? Remember the first headline we started off with today? A single particle, a single atom, which is the Beckwell. And each one of those atoms pulses every second. For infinity, long after you're... Fukushima with radioactivity over 40 billion becquels, large put. This is extraordinary. This is unbelievable. And this is Arnie Gunnarsson who also says unit three and four are fine. The fuel pools are fine. He says all the fuel is out of the reactor four building. Don't know what to believe anymore. He tells you truth on one side and then pukes on you with his other side. Government simulation showed a massive plume. How many plumes do you got to come through your neighborhood again? One. Even if the wind was blowing 100 miles an hour, that was an event for your neighborhood or your community or your country. The fact that it didn't stop coming out of there was multiple meltdowns and that they hit it for years see Gunderson pains a conscience he gotta come out and denounce everybody who says unit 4 that beautiful intact building is real it's all Gunderson gotta do to save face he's not welcome back into the community ever again but all Gunderson gotta do is come out and say that's fake it's all Kellicott gotta do come out and say that's fake and, and the polls are gone and that they're sorry they lied and that they know they lied. And they can go off and live their life. But until they do that, I can guarantee you, people are going to look and find out what they've done. And, it, and they are in serious trouble. And it's their fault, not mine for saying it. Not mine for pointing it out. Not mine for saying that these people lied to us. All, all Seth Dorn had to worry about was people like Arnie Gunnarsson and Helen McCall coming out and saying, that's not real. That's all he had to do. All he had to do is say, that's fake. There's no fuel pool. That's not real. Sad is faking it. That's all he had to do. That's all he got to do. It's too late now because they've been lying to you saying that is real for six years. I'm supposed to forgive them because they lied to us. Shut your fucking mouth out there. You're done. All of you fucks out there supporting Ernie Gunnarsson, Calicott and Busby, you're fucking done. You idiots. You fucking idiots. What you done to us for a check? Infiltrated our group and then fucked over everybody. You're disgusting. Maggots. For a job. They fucking hate humans and pretend they're like us. To fit in with us. How many people did we out over the last three years that assimilated themselves into our group and then used that to try to attack me repeatedly till we figured it out what was going on? Shocking. There's over 10 nuclear reactors that the dead Fukushima governor, because he's dead now, 
Strong and the guy you're replacing is pro nuclear. Strongly demands TEPCO decommission, dismantle all ten nuclear reactors that went in the station blackout and melted down. Why do you think we have the death of the Pacific? Why do you think they picked up 30 million fucking bags? The reactors were destroyed because that happened for 400 miles of the coastline. Over 13,000 headlines about this subject and the only three people they're pushing down everybody's throat is Gunnarsson, Callercott and Busby. What about the other 13,000 people out there? Nobody fucking looks at them. The reactors for 400 kilometers Plus, in these areas were storage places for nuclear high level, unbelievable high level, not to mention medical, but the high level isotopes. And we think this building has collapsed, the interior of it. We know this is long gone. We know they're still lying about it. Unit 1, this is Unit 1. This could have collapsed too, see? You got to realize what happened to that country. It got leveled for 400 kilometers. Do you understand what leveled means? Do you get it yet? Do you understand why that happened? Do you understand why they're doing that? You think inside of that is a beautiful fuel pool. <laughs> Stupid people, man. Well, they're not stupid. They're PR firms acting like us, pretending they're like us. It's either that or they're the stupidest people on the planet. And I don't think they're that. Yeah, Dana, this is what Callicott, Gunderson, and Busby are telling everybody the fuel pool is on the roof of the building that don't even exist and hasn't come out and corrected that lie fucking snakes this is what it looked like though and they come out and lie to you but didn't show you that in the context of the fuel pool right they kept every fucking thing a secret ah oh, you can't show them why not because they're not really gone in there because you would die if you're within 300 feet of it and the ones that go there they died that's how that shit works, see? That's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear holding sites. Right? This is just like a 12-story building. These buildings were 190 feet high. The fuel poles were up at the top of the building in those red poles. Do you really got to be a genius to work out what the lie was? What Ernie Gunderson says, that's normal? <laughs> Calicott says it's normal. Busby said it's normal. No, no, the fuel pool's right there, Dana. Can't you see it? No, I can't. That's what it looks like, Dana. You can't see it, Dana. No, I can't. Gee, Dana. It looks like that. Mm, wait a second. At the top of the building, that building there looks like this. Oh, okay. Good thing you're not in front of me. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. The way you pick up 30 million bags if it's harmless. <laughs> oh, that's right. Avoid that one at all costs. Hang on. We got fucking plumes coming in the night, starting the night. Hardcore. See, these people are dead. Those people right there, they're dead. That's what happens anybody gets this close. Because the water can't protect you any. There's no water. There's no pool. The fuel is right down there. And it emits gamma shine and alpha burst and neutron burst. And this will cook you. This will cook you. You die just walking past it a few weeks later. It's all he sent in there is the homeless, the destitute, the immigrants. Soon it'll be them. Soon we will send those fuckers in there. And it won't be that. It'll be this one here. Ultimately, think about what happened to the structures 
for 400 kilometers. Look at the cement. Look at the rebar sticking up. Look at the metal twisted. You couldn't get water. You couldn't plug sources in there. This is why you picked up 30 million one-ton bags, yeah? Because fallout is real. Oh, Dana, it's not real, Dana. If it was real, everybody would be yelling about it, Dana. Well, reactor four behind me is supposed to be 190 foot. That's just an 80 foot building alongside of it. Significance looking difference, isn't it? Look at a 130 foot building compared to what the reactors are 190 feet high and 150 feet wide. But all of a sudden, it's pretty easy to understand what they done to you. How could the buildings not be destroyed when that happened? How could they not end up looking like this? Sorry. Hang on, here we go. Look at it. Let's go to bigger buildings, proper size buildings. Um, unit four was Arnie. Um, uh, was Dan Here's what Arnie, Arnie's saying right now, right? This is what Arnie's doing. He's talking about, he's, he's, he's not going to say anything about this is not real. Quite the contrary. He's talking about the destroyed building. Um, the unit four was, um, uh, was damaged twice. It was damaged by, by a, all of the earthquakes that occurred. Yeah. And it was also uh, damaged by a series of explosions over um, the first week or two of the, of the accident. Okay. Now look at the, the reactor core goes straight up the center of the building. Those black uh, pools up there, that's the fuel pools. That's the fuel pools at the top so of the, the building. The, the building is structurally weakened. Now, <laughs> <laughs> structurally weakened. Weakened. Tokyo Electric Technologies. <laughs> they went in. What a in, fucking uh, idiot! In May and structurally weakened. You get to lie yet? Don't put your fate in Gunderson for what's happening over the last couple of days. Don't say, oh, well, Gunderson didn't say that, Dana, because you're a death sentence for your loved ones and your friends and your families and your pets. June of last year. This is more than a year ago. And putting in... What? And he doesn't know the difference? He made the fuel pools for over 70 reactors. He made the fuel assemblies. The fucking assemblies with the rods in them. Enormous number of extra structural supports directly under the fuel pool. <laughs> See the red up there? Fucking red is the fuel pool. The top right behind me, way up, those two pools, they're not there. Arnie knows that he used to make them. He's seen all the pictures you've seen today. He knows the difference. He knew long before I did, long, long before you just did. He knew right away. So did Calicut. Um, and especially building three is very fragile. It's still got a huge cooling pool on its roof. Look at her. Twi now look how she acts this out. Watch how she's acting it out. It's a script. Protected by nothing. The core Protected by nothing because it's not even there. The molten core has melted its way down onto the concrete of the containment base. Now, there's five reactor cores up where the roof used to be. That's why she's talking the way she is. Oh, melt it down to turn it to the basement, which is 60 feet under the ground. We're talking 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. You think for one second, cement or steel is going to stop that? Give your fucking head a shake. So, but maybe into the earth. And if that collapsed, there would be a nuclear inferno. Yeah, it collapsed and there was a nuclear inferno. We just had a massive earthquake on land, on land, six miles down. Fuck all. Fuck all. Did she run out and warn you? No. Did she run out and say? Uh, and you can see that there are other uh, Here's structures, MIT. particularly important. Talking about the fuel, where the pools are. Probably is to notice that the spent fuel is stored in the upper regions of this building and the refueling implies upper. that the fuel will have to go from the core up, up. And right there's no upper part of the billing helen 
or Ernie or Busby. No people are fucking Baghdad. idiots. Don't believe them. They are nowhere. This is. Look at the billings. Ernie didn't come out and tell you that's a fake billing. Why not? Busby didn't come out and tell you it's a fake fucking billing over there. Why not? Got, you know, Calicott didn't do it. Gunderson, Busby don't do it. But that's who you're feeding everybody every day out there in the nuclear activist fucking world. You know who I'm talking to. I'm paying attention. I'm stacking them up. I know what you're up to. You're going to burn you at the fucking stake. Just paraphrasing theoretical what that mean all it means is I'm just gonna expose you for what you're doing to everybody sack of shits telling people not coming out and telling people when they know Gunderson knows that's not fucking real over there he knows that doesn't exist he knows the fuel pools are not there why is everybody giving them a free ride because they're working for the same industry they're there to trick you and deceive you and fucking kill you. They hate you. They hate me. They hate everything. All eight million species. And the tops of these pools are 100 feet above ground. <clears throat> and Hey, you should tell that to fucking Gunnarsson who used to make them. You should tell it to Calicott and Busby too. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Enough. Enough. We just had massive earthquakes. Look, 190 foot fucking building. If the building looks was perfect, we still be worried about it. It's not. Remember what he said? Another earthquake could topple those fucking buildings. These are 190 foot building reactor three. I have to do this now lately all the time because there's so many stupid people out there refuse to call out the lawyers. Refuse to stand their ground for humanity of their own friends or their own children. Gunderson fucked you. Busby fucked you. And Busby has a team of little rats running around slandering me. Right? Trying to destroy me. Look at a fucking prick up there. Who was it? He was on this little bitch's radio show a little while ago, right? Little cunt. They didn't even talk about Fukushima a single fucking time miserable fucking maggots in the industry these people are maggots these are fucking parasites these are vicious thugs dude they're laughing at us right now oh he worked it out <laughs> we'll get somebody else to go out we'll pander to another crew out there like it doesn't affect them they have no emotions about it they don't give a fuck about you or life on this planet look how the comments up there how he's trying to destroy me with nothing but lies and he's been doing that for a couple of years straight I just happened to catch up to it fucking maggots have infiltrated the movement and have wrecked reality they talk about iodine I talk about curium they talk about cesium I talk about fucking polonium because that's what the reactors are running on and coming out of it is the curium the polonium uranium Reactors run on uranium, not fucking cesium. If you say the word cesium or iodine and you're educated, like those three fucks, you're supposed to say they're traces. Six years of missing that one. Why would you put your fate in these fucks for? Oh, Dana, that's all we got. Shut your fucking mouths. It's not all we got. It's all you want to propagate out or is what's going on. It's all you want to feed everybody so you can make your fucking check every week. I'm sure it's a go on. Murderers. These people are fucking murderers. Look, I went out and done that whole coastline. This is before and after pictures. What do you think is going on? There's an extinction event playing out. You see those? I put those there. That's all me. That's me. Tepco could do the same thing to trick you. Look, that's all me. That's how easy it is for someone to deceive you, manipulate you. That's just me on the beach. That's me on the beach. This is all me. It's so easy to put someone on, on Tepco's website and make it look like there's someone there, but it's 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 really 
And you don't even want to fake it. It's that simple. Look, I took the picture. That's my Zodiac, my motor. I was dear. Right? That's before and after pictures. But it's just me. This is how they, they've been doing it for you. All of them, they're all me. Right? And this is what that spot is degraded. But you can see the colors in this one where I don't have so many me's there. But you get where I'm coming from. It's an extinction event. We went out and done that entire coastline. But right? I started off with that picture. And I just kept stacking people in there. In every study, in every country, every animal died for 70 fucking years. For 70 years. Gilmetti studies is just one of the many studies. 144 dogs, less than five years, they were all dead. And he's been doing it for how many, uh, three and a half decades? It's not just Gilmetti. There's so many other institutions out there. You got to fight for the truth. You got to fight to speak the truth. You got to fight to avoid the truth. You got to be on your guard all the time for the controlled opposition trying to take over. And the best way to take over is to kill me, get rid of me. So expect them to kill me in the future, in the near future. Because I'm the resistance. I'm the one out there going toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder, banging it out with these freaks. And they know it. I'm, I'm the only issue they got. They actually don't got another fucking issue on the planet. They don't. They don't. Thugs. And it should be millions of you as articulating as I am. It should be millions of you going to bat on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else. I'm heading back out as soon as this show is over on the ocean. Everything's packed all morning. The stove's been running since 6 a.m. out there. It's all hooked up to the truck. I'm going to burn out there. It's the first sunshine we had in a long time. I'm just going to go out and see if I can catch up with those couple of whales been out there. We caught up with them a few days back. And... I need to raise some money, some donations. I'm up against an entire system that's funded like you can't even imagine. I haven't raised anything in, in over a week. And we can't do anything without raising money. How am I supposed to accomplish anything? I think about, or are not familiar with this, I've done the entire coast of Canada. The entire coast of Canada. It's all up at the website, nuclearproctologist.org. Please donate. Please support this crazy, batshit, angry man you see in front of you. Because he is here fighting for you and your friends and your families and the other 8 million species. And I can't do it alone, but I'm trying. I'm pretty good. I'm not afraid. I'm not shy. I'm not even a little bit worried. Just need to raise money. They stay in business long enough to have an effect. Hugs for everybody. I see you in the comment section. Thanks again for Elaine Shaniken for taking care of the moderating so that I don't have to freak you <laughs> every day and see that shit. Hugs, honey. We appreciate it so much. Take care, folks.